name is Shelley Blake Pluck. I'm the CEO of Yet Analytics. Uh, we are a company uh, providing uh, analysis platforms and database platforms uh, for the purpose of um, analyzing and understanding the big data of people, people performance, human capital. Several months ago, uh, the Department of Defense uh, open sourced uh, a specification for experiential data, that is the data of people doing, learning, working within connected environments. Um, a community developed around it, uh, and we were one of the um, uh, we were one of the groups asked to join, uh, and we developed a commercial platform uh, based on on that specification. Back in December, uh, we were invited uh, as a guest of uh, the Department of Defense to present um, work that we were doing in uh, the gathering of simulation data uh, from flight simulators and game engines um, at uh, the annual ITSEC uh, military training simulations conference. Um, and uh, what we did is demonstrated the ability to uh, draw uh, data um, out of a flight simulator uh, in a uh, a format that was interoperable uh, with uh, wearable data, that uh, we were collecting biometric data uh, at the same time uh, via Android Wear. Um, so we were able to gather uh, biometric data, like heart rate and things like this, uh, movement um, among participants in the simulation, while at the same time gathering the uh, simulation data, bringing it together in a uh, unified common format and visualizing it live. Uh, and that sort of thing, the ability to triangulate different forms of data to help you to identify patterns, trends, behaviors that otherwise might be less intuitive uh, to get at, uh, that's what we do really well. Thinking about training and human performance, uh, the ability to um, report on people, observe what they're doing, uh, have them report back, has always been a part uh, of, of business, part of organizations. Uh, but the ability to uh, sort of uh, passively make uh, the tracking of uh, human performance and business performance uh, a part of uh, the um, expectation of what it means to to be uh, a worker, to contribute to an organization, to contribute to the success of a business strategy. Um, to be able to have technologies that provide that in a, uh, a passive, behind the scenes, very integrated job embedded format um, that actually shows the real work, the real life of, of what people are doing, that, that's, that, that's the, special, uh, the special offering that XAPI uh, brings to the table. Too often, especially in training, data collection has been something that sort of uh, happens auxiliary to what you're actually doing in your work. The integration of XAP XAPI technologies into the day-to-day -day of uh, all of the operational technology within an organization makes that ability to gather and that ability to an analyze and then make decisions based on what people are doing and how they're performing, uh, that makes it a lot, a, a lot more special. I'm convinced that there is a way of looking at data architecture itself that is essentially part of, or should be part of one's business model in entering this new frontier of ubiquitous data. And um, that's definitely something that we've taken to heart we, we very much, your data architecture is part of your business plan. Um, and we've built a data architecture that puts its arms around where the world is going rather than go for the easy win right now.